five surprising ways the mind influences the body, and vice versa. It is a mistake to think of our mind and body as separate entities. The reality is that we are holistic machines, and that no aspect of our psychology, physiology, or biology can exist independently of the rest. Your mood is tied to your physiology, and your physiology is tied to your mood. This is part of what makes the mind so powerful. It controls not only our thoughts, but also our body. Here are some surprising examples. 1. Your mind can boost your immune system. If you are positive, jolly, and surrounded by people who love you, then you are actually more likely to overcome illnesses. It turns out that stress suppresses the immune system, whereas happiness hormones can reinforce it. 2. Stress changes your children. Stress changes your biology in many ways. It can even change the way that certain genes are expressed, and that means you can pass those changes on to your children. Surprisingly, if you are very stressed when you conceive, your children are actually less likely to be stressed in life. 3. You don't digest food properly. Stress causes a range of conditions, such as psoriasis, but did you know it also prevents you from properly digesting your food? This can actually lead to malnutrition, even if you are eating properly. 4. Your gut changes your mood. So your mood changes the way your gut behaves. But did you know that this relationship is a two-way street? You see, your gut contains nearly as many neurons as your brain, and the tiny bacteria that live there actually produce neurotransmitters that can affect your mood. This is why the gut is sometimes referred to as the second brain. 5. Embodied Cognition Embodied cognition is a recent theory in psychology that better explains the close link between the body and the brain. Previously, it was thought that the brain had its own internal language. This was sometimes referred to as mentalese. The idea was that whenever someone said something to you, your brain would translate that into mentalese so that you could understand it. But now it is thought that the way the brain understands things is by visualizing those things. And that happens by lighting up areas in the brain as though you were doing those things. So if I told you about a walk I took through the woods, you might visualize yourself walking through the woods. Perhaps feel the wind on your neck and the leaves crunching underfoot. The brain doesn't work without the body, and vice versa.